clinical examination of the central nervous system cranial nerve 5 the fifth cranial nerve is the trigeminal nerve and um, this has both a motor and sensory component and it's um, trigeminal because the sensory component has three divisions which supply sensation to the face so these are ophthalmic uh, maxillary and mandibular the ophthalmic um, branch supplies the forehead up to the angle of the eye the maxillary supplies the face from the angle of the eye to the angle of the mouth and the mandibular supplies the cheek from the angle of the mouth downwards to the neck so to test for sensation of the face you let the patient close his eyes and gently touch his face with um, the cotton wool for um, touch and pain prick for pain and ask him if he can feel it or not and comparing the two sides helpful patients will often report parts of the face where the pain feels um, less sharp and it is usually not significant um, loss of the perception of pain especially when associated with loss or impairment of cotton wool or um, light touch in the same area is usually significant especially when it um, feels an anatomical territory recognizably um, that's of a branch or branches of the trigeminal nerve the corneal reflex um, test sensation of the corneal conjunctiva supplied by the ophthalmic division and is elicited by touching the cornea with um, a wisp of cotton wool and having first warned the patient and asked him to look up the loss of their um, reflex blink is abnormal in this case the patient should be asked whether the pain is felt the corneal sensory receptors are only sense, um, sensitive to pain the trigeminal parts of the um, mandibular division in its lingual branch carry taste sensation from the tongue but um, loss of taste due to damage um, to this branch will be associated with loss of pain and touch over over that part of the front of the tongue so damage to the maxillary nerve in the sinuses or facial bones may affect the superior dental nerves um, as when you are giving anesthesia in the upper teeth and hard palate on one side sensory loss in these areas is tested with a pain or stick the motor components um, supplies the muscles of mastication and the muscles of mastication are the masseter muscles the temporalis muscles um, medial um, pterygoid muscle and lateral um, pterygoid muscles to test for the motor components of the trigeminal nerve you ask the patient to clench um, his teeth strongly and feel for the strength of the um, masseter muscles at the um, angles of the jaw and then you let the patient move the lower jaw laterally to both sides against um, slight resistance occasionally weakness of the muscles of mastication may occur um, when um, hollowing of the um, temporal fossa um, may be seen as this um, hollowing of the temporal fossa may be seen the masseter muscle on the surface of the mandible may feel thinner than the other side so when a patient is asked to open his mouth against resistance um, unilateral pterygoid weakness will cause the jaw to deviate to the same side the jaw jerk is obtained by tapping um, with a patella hammer on the points of the chin with the patient being asked to hold his mouth slightly open in the normal reflex um, closure of the mouth um, is always detectable so where the jaw jack is increased it implies a bilateral um, pyramidal lesion above the um, 
fourth um above the fifth nerve nucleus in the brainstem conversely um brisk jerks in the limbs with abnormal with a normal jaw jerk suggests a pyramidal lesion in the cervical region